What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the 8th episode of Promise Neverland Season 2. No episode titles because we're boring. Um, so yeah. Yeah, last episode was... Uh, it was an episode. Um, this show has been struggling the past couple of episodes, it's fair to say. Um, all I want out of... All I wanted out of last episode was a Norman flashback episode. Now this time, if they don't deliver a Norman flashback episode what the fuck are we doing basically like we set it up and we were like ready to do it and then the episode ended uh and we got one new voice line out of it that was it um that that was it we got that one voice line as a new edition otherwise it was just season one reused footage which was annoying um but we well Emma, Ray, Don, and Gilda are off to find uh, Muchka and uh, what's his face? Uh, Sonju. Uh, because uh, her blood has the ability to stop demons from degenerating, uh, of which she was uh, captured, and basically everyone that she'd had afflicted with that uh, was eaten by the king and nobles to protect themselves. Uh, so they could be in control. It's, it's mostly just a control thing. Uh, no, no better or worse than what humans would do in that situation, probably. Um, so yeah, we have the, this demon royalty that is able to control the society, uh, which is kind of interesting. I would like to expand upon that in future if we could. Um, but Mujika was meant to be dead, but uh, apparently isn't. Uh, has, has been in hiding this entire time, which would explain why they are. It would explain why they are still intelligent despite not consuming human flesh at all. Um, but yeah, uh, Norman wants to kill them both. Uh, Emma still does not want to kill them all, which is fair. I can kind of see Emma's point of view here. I know some people call them Emma annoying in this, but it's like, well, it kind of tracks to her. Like, it kind of tracks that she wouldn't want to kill all of them. Um, but depending on what Norman's been through, maybe he'll have a different experience. Like, he's been in Lambda, which is a testing site, for whatever purposes that was. Um, so if we actually got to see what any of that was, more of this interaction would be justified. I find it somewhat annoying that we had all this interaction before we got to see Norman's perspective. Like, if we saw what Norman had gone through, that entire scene would have had so much more weight to it, because... I don't like that Norman just showed up out of nowhere, had had all the answers, all his plans, and it's just like, we're doing it. It's like, just like that. It's like, there was no build-up to any of it. Um, I'm hoping that this episode, I'm sincerely hoping this is a flashback episode. And, I, and I'm being the entire 20-odd minutes of it. That's, I genuinely mean the entire 20 minutes need to be nothing but Norman in Lambda and his experiences there. At the bare minimum, we need that just one episode. I wouldn't have minded a second episode on it, but um, I don't think that's going to happen because that would leave us with only two episodes left of the show if they did that. So uh, I think we're just going to get the one episode and I I hope they just do a half ass job of it and I hope it's not like just trickled in like all this minimal information. No, give us a full deep look into Lambda from Norman's perspective for the past year, essentially. Um, that's what I want to see. We'll see if it happens. Uh, that's all I can say. Um, but I think Promised Neverland has been quite the letdown after season one. Like, definitely the, the most disappointed I've been in a sequel in a long time. I think it's about to say. It, it could turn it around a bit and save it with the ending, but I guess we'll see what they end up wanting to do. So, anyway, uh, as per usual, these are time-based form actions here on YouTube. Uh, if you want to see full picture picture, you can go to my Patreon down in the description below. Four pounds a month gives you access to all Patreon picture actions I do on the channel, which is everything from this season and future seasons. Some backdated shows, Patreon request shows, there's a movie poll up right now. Uh, you can vote in it uh, if you're a Patreon member up until, uh, I believe, uh, end of Sunday night. Something along those lines. Sunday night or Monday night, I can't remember now. Um, but yeah, here on YouTube we do time based. So bottom left of the screen you'll see a time of the episode. I count down 3 to 1 play. If I'm play, you start the episode. I start the episode and we'll be in sync. We are watching this one on Funimation since I absolutely licensed it. We have the Amplex logo, then the Funimation logo. It's about 12 seconds logo, give or take. I'll call them out as I go past. You can also use screen flash on my face or the mic to tell when he's transitioning. So, with all that said, uh, let's get into uh, this week's episode, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. Amplex. Funimation. Cheers.
Here we go. OP time. All right, here we go. Oh, new character. Ratri, okay. Ah. Hmm. Two. Really? That look in her eyes. I miss you, Isabella. Hmm. That's impressive. Mm hmm. The pills? Okay. The first genius, huh? Hmm. Huh? Oh, okay. I guess you're an, definitely an antagonist then. Lovely. Ooh, we. Lovely. Hmm. 
Mm. How? Where are you getting the explosives from? He just does it. Okay. Oh, lovely. Ha. Huh. This is how he meets them. Not quite. Is that really all the flashback we're going to get? We're going to get, like, five minutes of flashback after all this? That was disappointing. Hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Not much of luck so far. Yeah, let's not deal with that. Oh. Hello, creepy CJ thing. Again, how do we have this stuff? Like, there's so much unanswered stuff. It's not even unanswered, it's not even, ex it's unexplained, which is worse. Genocide.
Maybe he doesn't care about the deadline anyway. Mm hmm. Yes, definitely. Hiding a lot from the audience as well. Okay. Oh boy. Hmm. And I'm guessing, especially with the lighting, it's going to be devil. Oh, wonderful. I see the thing. Again, how the hell are we outrunning this thing? I mean, we're quite clearly not, but... We have a lot of luck with hitting these things in the damn eye. Like, a lot of luck. And that apparently completely incapacitates it, hitting one of its, like, 20 eyes? These demons are terrible. <laughs> Both in-universe. There we go. Of course, it doesn't matter, because we'll be protected last second, but still. Mm-hmm. Oh, we've got a lot of catch ups to do. Uh, see how they take this. Your blood. Well, oh, there's more.
Why did we immediately just assume that? <laughs> that was a bit of a stretch, but whatever. Oh, explode. And that's the stuff. Oh, it's effective. Oh. Not yet. Again, we're just doing it. We're not... Mm. Doesn't feel satisfying at all for it. You say we can fight against them, but still they're demons. We don't really have the greatest weaponry against them, even if we devolve them all. Also, it's not like all of them are devolving. It's just not... This should be a hella satisfying scene to witness, but it just isn't. Like, this is a cool-ass shot, but... That's all it is. It's a cool shot. Hmm. They seem to be on board, at least. For now. All right, the one demon. Yep. Oh, lovely. Oh, boy. Of course it's the same name and makes him hesitate. He's going to be unaffected, isn't he? Oh, the kid. Oh, no, they both were affected. Nope, maybe just the kid? Mm-hmm. Yep. He's one of them. Yep. That's what you're doing now, Norman. Is that the same voice actress as young Emma, or is it just very similar? I feel like there's an intentional similarity there. I don't know. And again, they're drawing the parallels with Emma. Now you're starting to waver now, aren't you? Because you still have a shred of humanity left in you. But 
they go back in time? They actually did, wow. That was very quick. Why do you only see Kid Norman there? Now because of the crying, I get it. Mm-hmm. All right. God, I'm so disappointed they didn't flash back more of Norman. This show is... I'll save it for the end. Okay, that was a better episode than recent times, but still exemplifies so many of the issues I have this entire season. Why did we only get five minutes of flashback? Five minutes of flashback to cover an entire year of Norma's time in Lambda. Five minutes, that's all we get? Like, come on. I wanted two episodes worth, not five minutes. Like, ugh, oh, Christ. And even in that thing, it's like, we're told what happened, we're not shown anything, like, I can get explosives. Where? I need a device to make a detonator. Okay. What did you get? You just, it just happened. Uh... The show is just, it's telling us everything that's happened. It's just telling us what happens. And I know that's storytelling, you're telling the story, but like, it's telling it in a way that is just, I don't know the correct way of phrasing it. I have i remember seeing, there was a comment somewhere on Annie List or somewhere that like, summed it up very well for me. I just don't know. Um... I, I, I can't find where it is, but it made a very good point of how this story is being portrayed in a way that is just so uh, just lacking in most ways. Like that scene of Norman and his group descending upon the village or town as it's degenerating and and blowing up. It's like I didn't know we had explosive as part of this. Like I know we had the drug, but where are we getting so many explosives from? It's like how? Why? <laughs> I, I don't know. But that scene should have been so impactful, but it was just so empty. Like, aside from having a cool shot of them standing up on top of the pillars as the chaos reigned below them, it happened so suddenly and with such little build up and fanfare that it was just kind of like. It didn't feel like it had any impact, like it should have done. Like, they should have built up so much more of it and had so much more focus on it. Like, at the end, they were guilt tripping Norman with the whole thing, like realizing what this is actually doing to the demons, and you're, how can you distinguish demons from humans at this point? It's like, 
they have families and people they care about just as much as you do. Why why should you be the one to ruin that for them when most of them have done nothing wrong? Like, yes, they're complicit with everything that's happening, but it wasn't their choice to be, especially for the kids, it wasn't their choice to be born into this situation. Like, they didn't get to choose that. So I like that they had that angle at the end. It was kind of obviously going to have that angle at the end. But the whole thing should have been so much more impactful. And it just fell flat. It... Like we were just thrown into chaos. The pacing of the show is so off. Just so, 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 so off. I don't know what it is about this season that makes it so... Yeah. Especially after the first season, which was so suspenseful. It had such an atmosphere about it. The creepiness, the, the terror. It, everything from that is gone. Like, just gone. I don't know. It's very disappointing. It's a very disappointing sequel, unfortunately. Um, but what can you do? Really, what can you do? I'm. I have to see how it ends, right? Like, like I said, I will. I'm going to watch it through to the end because these past two episodes were its chance to redeem itself with expanding upon Norman and giving him the moments. But like. It really didn't. Like, five-minute flashback after all that, that's all you're going to give us? Like, no. That that flashback should have been the entire damn episode. I don't know if it's a production issue or if it was just a director choice or what, but to only give us five minutes of that is just criminal. Especially in an 11-episode season. Like, this should have been at least a 12-episode season, and one of those episodes should have been dedicated to that damn flashback. That's really what should have happened there. To actually give Norman... Because Norman feels so underdeveloped now. Like, a whole year of experience. And it's like being played so... Meaningless. I don't know. It's hard to feel any... Like, I feel like Norman's actions and Norman's perspective are so impactful to the main story, obviously... But I feel so disconnected from that because it feels like he's just doing things because he's meant to do them. Like, that's why it feels like it. It feels like there's no character motivation behind him. Like, Emma and Ray and the rest of the group, we know why they're doing it. We've seen them and gone through their trials and tribulations to get to this point to where they are. We've seen their experiences with nicer demons and we're seeing how their perspective have changed over time. Norman, we've seen nothing. We saw five minutes to cover that whole year and it's like okay i suppose he's now the bad guy like i expected norman to be the bad guy the bad guy uh once he was like not shown on screen to die i assumed he would be conditioned by the demons and used in uh tracking down emma and ray and stuff and become their enemy like that's where i thought they would go with this i guess he's technically now the enemy but just not in a satisfying way that I expected. And really just feel so underdeveloped. Like, I don't know. I really don't know about this season. I have so many gripes with it. I'm sticking through with it just so I can see how it ends. And then if they do announce a season three, there's no way they could announce a season three. Depending on how they end this, they might announce a season three. Or they might just end it here and say that's the end of the journey. But how do you end a journey like this? How do you end this in three episodes? What do you end on? Honestly, what do you end on here? We're not going to get to the human side. I don't even think the human side exists at this point. We're never going to make it there. So what do we do? We find a new sanctuary for us to live? Where, where? There is no other built-up place. We've gone through Minerva's plans. We're done. So, what do we end on? Like, season one makes sense. We end on the big escape. We've escaped now. Season two, how do we deal with that? And like, 
that made sense. So what do we... I don't know. I don't know. I have very many gripes about this show. Um, hopefully my complaining isn't getting too annoying. Uh, but I've, I've got to be honest. Like, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat things. I, I want to be completely honest. Like Everything I do on this channel, I want to be 100% honest as to how I feel in the moment. And right here in this moment, I feel like season two was a mistake. <laughs> like it was such a mistake of a series. Um, yeah, just, yeah, I, I think I've said my piece now. Um, we'll see what now happens with Emma and Ray and the whole group against Norman, which means they made enemies of all the other people that he saved because they're completely fiercely loyal to him because they share the same ideals of hating the demons. And they've gone through, like, that's the thing, like, Norman's experience with the demons, yes, he's been farmed and he's being used. But he's being given a very comfortable existence, relatively, from what has been portrayed. Most of his existence has been very, like, high level, high quality of life. Like, there are a lot of people in the world that don't get to live as well as Norman is currently living. And so it's kind of... He's seeing the horrors of the demons secondhand. We've seen a few screens of the demons doing some messed up stuff of Norman passing by. But like that's so little for him to react off of and for us as an audience to build off of with his character in that moment. But it just feels so empty. The whole thing feels empty, really. And I'm going to end it there because I, ca I can't keep complaining. It's already late. I, I want to edit these all together and get them uploaded. So that's going to do it for you guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it or whatever you're here for this series for now. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed it, I guess. Or if you enjoyed my ramblings or whatever, just let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, yeah. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode. If you want to watch next week's episode, as well as the rest of the Winter 2021 life you can find on the channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time. See you guys later.